In number four, the fourth group of people you cannot help, those who refuse to accept corrections, directions, mentoring from experienced successes. Samuel, a prophet of God, raised Saul and also raised David. He mentored these two kings. He prepared them and installed them and anointed them as kings. As a matter of fact, Saul did not survive for a very long time on the throne because he was not ready to take instructions and inspirations from Prophet Samuel. When Samuel instructed him what to do, he refused to listen. And Samuel went to him and said, Why didn't you wait for me to come and offer the sacrifice? He said, I waited for you, and when you were not coming because of the crowd, I was scared, and the Philistines were approaching. So I decided to offer the sacrifice. And Saul told him, and Samuel told him, You've been a foolish king. For what you have done, the kingdom was going to have been with you and your children's children. The kingdom was going to be reestablished for you and your children. But for what you have done, it has been removed. It has been moved to another person. God has finished with you. And someone moved from his place and went to look for another replacement. While Saul was still the king, he heard that someone had gone to look for someone who was going to anoint him as the next king. Someone raised two leaders. One was successful, one failed. But one refused to listen to the experienced person. You cannot help those who will refuse corrections and leadership from experienced people. Young men and women, please listen to me. There are people who have been in your shoes before. You have never been to where they are in life. They have experienced something before your time. And therefore, you can't tell them, leave me. Let me experience my own. Your men and women, listen carefully. I tell you the misery of these type of people who refuse to learn from experienced people. They would rather lecture the successor when the successor is sharing things with them and telling them what they should do. They would rather lecture them. The successor is quiet listening. Young lady, you know too much, eh? So they are quiet listening to you. Instead of you listening, they are rather lecturing them. They will tell the experienced successor why their prescribed solution wouldn't work. When you tell them something and what they should do, they will tell you why what you are saying will not work. When you ask them if they have other alternative solution to their problem, they say, we don't have, I don't have. They said they don't have any idea of yeah, what right. they should do. Yet when you tell them the idea too, they reject it. No. It is like putting ice block in the sun and thinking you will come and meet it as ice block. It is like riding a dead horse and thinking it will take you to a crowd. The foolishness of the youth cannot go beyond their foolishness. Or the youth cannot see beyond their foolishness. They think they are too smart and so they will disregard the advice of their parents and those who are ahead of them. No matter how you think you are educated, no matter the degrees as a young man, a young woman, you think you have, you are not smarter than your mother. You are not smarter than your father. You are not smarter than those who are ahead of you. They have been there before. They have tested the bitter side of marriage. And so when you bring a young guy into your, the home and they are telling you, Mabira, Niami who I was Oh, so mommy, you don't understand. Mommy, you don't get me. He loves me, order me. And then the mother said, Niami Hunu. Sheye, you think you know better. With your degree, because you have MBA, or you think you have a, 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 a first degree, second degree, or a PAD. Look, what you have in your university cannot be, at, uh, cannot be compared to the wisdom of the aged. So you cannot help those who refuse to accept corrections from experienced people. They will leave you to rot in your problems. 